This is one of the stories that you know we've been we've been really following here on the Fowler Show, um, and it has to do with this you know the police and the police excessive use of force. Um, but I want everybody out there to know this is a public service announcement. Yes, I know it's not a real public service announcement, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? It is legal to film the cops. I want you to know that. It has become clearer and clearer over the past couple months that smartphones have ushered in a new era of police accountability. Since mid-July, when a bystander on Staten Island filmed the death of Eric Garner in a prohibited police chokehold, at least eight other unsettling videos, most of them captured by smartphones, have emerged showing instances of apparent excessive force by the NYPD. Four such videos have appeared this month alone. But here is what you need to know. And, the Nor and this is from the New York um, Civil Liberties, or the, ACE of, uh, but from the ACLU, generally speaking. It's encouraging people, everybody out there watching, to keep using their phones to film troubling police incidents. The more people who post these videos online, this is what Donna Lieberman said, who's the executive director of the New York Civil Liberties Union, the more likely it is that other people will reach out, will reach from the, for their own phones when they see cops doing things that seem to be questionable. Which is completely true. I mean, I completely agree with her 100% on this one. She goes on further to say, nobody would have believed what happened to Rodney King if we hadn't caught it on videotape. Um, and the same goes true for Eric Garner. So what I'm saying to you guys all today, and I hate to say it this way, um, and we talked about this last week on the show, no, two weeks ago. You know, everybody saw for dinner, and we saw them just basically, like, run after this, like, African-American guy and pretty much, you know, try to, uh, you know, arrest him. And the first thing my producer said to me is, like, we should be videotaping this. And I'm like, you know, I don't know. But now, every time I see something, if, if my gut tells me this seems questionable, and your gut usually knows, right? Like, your instinct says, mm, something's wrong here. I plan on pulling out one of my two smartphones and taping that crap to hell. Because if police are engaging in this level of behavior, it is about time that we expose them for their raucous behavior, right? Their egregious behavior. The straight up police brutality of innocent people. And so here at the Fowler Show, I ask you all, all folks that are watching, to do me this favor. When you see the things go down, when you see what, see, what, what, it, what you would look, if it seems fishy, it looks like a rat, smells like a rat, tastes like a rat, it's probably a rat. So when you see these activities that look questionable to you, pull out your phone, take a picture, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to send the, beyond just posting it on Facebook, at, send it on Twitter to the, us at The Fowler Show. We will push this out because, listen, the only way we're going to, we can't get justice in silence, Right? So we need to use this new era and social media as our way to make sure that our voices are heard and our oppression can be over. But we have to hold the police accountable. There's no question, there's no ands or buts about it. That's what we've got to do.